Hello there. I'm Holland. I'm out here at the William B. Clark Conservation Area. I'm just doing a little exploring, bird watching, seeing what kind of wildlife I can find. I've got my trusty guides, my binoculars. Let's see what we see out here. Looky there what I spy with my little eye. Who Hello, is Ms. that? Alice. What are you doing out here? Hey, Miss Jessica. I'm out here exploring. Me too. I've got my trusty camera and I'm here to observe wildlife and be in nature. Well, let's explore together. That sounds great. Come on. So the William B. Clark Conservation Area has been managed by the Nature Conservancy since 1993. The boardwalk itself was built in 2001, and this area is just teeming with the different kinds of life from animals, things that live in the water, and tons of different kinds of plants and bugs. What kind of animals do you think we'll see out here? I don't know, maybe some beavers? Ooh, I bet there's birds. Oh, I bet, what about snakes? Ooh, <laughs> I bet there's a ton of bugs out oh. here too. Areas like this used to be a lot more common, but because of people, a lot of the land has been cleared out or destroyed. So places like this are really important to the ecosystem, which is why we need to take care of them. Because once these areas are gone, all the plants, all the animals, all the wildlife in this area won't have anywhere to go. So we need to do our part and appreciate the nature around us and take care of our planet. I used my bird guide to see what kind of bird we might have seen, and we're not sure, but we think it might be some kind of warbler. <laughs> We've gone just a few miles down the road to the W.C. Johnson Park, where the Peterson Lake Nature Center and Boardwalk are, and we're about to take a walk. Like the William B. Clark Conservation Area, the Peterson Lake Nature Area is very similar with diverse wildlife with lots of different plants and animals. When you take the boardwalk, it ends in a loop, which brings you to the Wolf River. So if you'll notice here on the boardwalk, it doesn't have any sides, and that is so that the deer can pass from one side of the woods to the other. Also in this area of the river, there's things that are built called weirs, which are kind of like dams. And they've built these weirs into the river with big pieces of limestone and then smaller rocks on top. And the reason for that is the Wolf River is a very curvy river, which is good. And without these rocks, sometimes rivers straighten over time and they don't want that to happen because they want to maintain the ecosystem. So they actually put these rocks in the river to keep the river curving along happily on its course. Here we are now at Overton Park, which was built in 1906. It was named for John Overton, one of the co-founders of the city of Memphis. The park also has many recreational areas like Rainbow Lake, the Old Forest Arboretum, and a playground. Tally 
The park also features a dog park, the Brooks Museum of Art, the Memphis Zoo, and a golf course for quack, quack. Now we're at T.O. Fuller State Park. This park was named after Dr. Thomas O. Fuller. The park was built in 1938 and in the whole country, this is the only park east of the Mississippi that would allow people who are black into the park. This is the only state park within Memphis city limits. In addition to natural wildlife areas and hiking trails, the park features the Shelby Bluff Center with educational resources. There's also playgrounds, sports fields, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool and splash pad. The park is also home to the C.H. Nash Museum at Chuckalissa. I love nature, yes I do! We were a couple of lucky ducks because Ranger Dakota Muller was there and he was able to show us around the inside of the Shelby Bluff Center. Inside are lots of different animals that the park cares for. All of these animals have been injured or are too used to being around people and cannot return to the wild. Is this a corn snake? It is a corn snake. Uh -oh. All right. Let me check you out. So, a good way to check out if they're unhappy is look at their tail. Okay. Rattlesnakes are not the only ones that shake their tail. In fact, almost all snakes will. But uh, rattlesnakes have that extra thing. Hello. Does he have a name? Sonny. Sonny. Hello, Sonny. Sonny. Uh, somebody renamed him Colonel Sonny. <laughs> They also have a barred owl named Barry and a red tail hawk. Mr. Hawk still needs a name, so be thinking of some great ideas to suggest because the park will be having a naming contest for him soon. We're here at River Garden Park, one of the many parks along the Mississippi, and there are so many great things to do here, and we're going to show you some of them. Here you can rent kayaks, have fun on the playground, picnic, and there's even yoga. But before we go, here are some pro tips from us. Don't forget your sunscreen and bug spray. Use a stick like this one to get all those spider webs out of your face. Watch out for snakes. And don't forget your water. Refreshing. Here are just a few of the great books you can get from your local library. We have tons of amazing books for you today. Blah, 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 I'm singing to you.